Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 30th of July. And we don't have that many news today. It's a bit of a slow news week, but there are a few interesting news. First of all, we go to Diageo. They just released their date for their Diageo special releases this year. Uh, the theme is uh, rare by nature. It's not gonna feature an unpeated Kalilla and it's not gonna feature any grain or any blended malt. It will be released on the 10th of October and I'm gonna read you the list of these year's special releases. The Cardu, 14 years, Craigamore, 12 years, Dalwini, 30 years, Lagavulin, 12 years, Mortlach, 26 years, Pittiweich, 29 years, Talisker, 15 years, and Singleton of Glenort, 18 years. There will be no Port Allen, no Brora. Hopefully your favorite distillery was in there so you can get yourself a new special release. And then we have another collection that will come to the market and it's gonna be from Shivers Brothers. And they call it the Secret Speyside Collection. It's gonna feature 15 malls from four different distilleries. And the distilleries will be the Brass of Glenlivet, Carpadonich, uh, Glenkeith, and Longmorn. If you don't know the Brass of Glenlivet, that's because they renamed themselves from Brass of Glenlivet to Breval in 1994, probably because of the confusion with the Glenlivet uh, brand. Um, but this one is a bit of an older, so they sold it by the old name. Not quite sure if they have to, but usually uh, they do want to do that because of their heritage. Then we have news from up in the very, very, very north of Scotland, and that is the Wolfburn Distillery, who releases their uh, fifth uh, collector series bottle, the Cliver Number no. 4. I don't know. It's um, the cliver is the alphabet, the rune alphabet of probably the Vikings, and um, the rido is the fifth uh, rune, and it stands for travel or riding a horse or something like that. So it's it's for movement, for, for traveling. And it's a combination of uh, bourbon and PX sherry casks. Uh, it's going to be highly limited. So if you see one, you might as well grab it because it's going to be gone soon because uh, they only have 900 bottles and it's going to be a 50% ABV. So all the Americans, that's a hundred proof bottle. Then we have the United States. Diageo was investing heavily. They already announced that. And last year, uh, last week, we already talked about the employ uh, employers uh, were unhappy because they invest so much money, they spend so much money, and they didn't raise their wages. And now we see where they're going to spend the money because the um, beginning of construction was celebrated for the $130 million distillery in Lebanon. And it's gonna be a uh, 58 acres uh, big area with 12 warehouses and it should uh, start production in the year 2021. So yeah, very interesting um, how that's gonna continue and how the employee, uh, employees are gonna react to that. Uh, we will uh, discuss that in the future and see how these news unravel. And last of all, we have the Woodford Reserve Distillery in the news. Um, this is not the bottle that's been released. The, this is the single malt and they now just released a wheat whiskey. Uh, it's gonna be 52% wheat, 20% uh, malt, 20% uh, corn and 8% rye. So it's gonna be, have a lot of diversity in that. It's gonna be complex whiskey with 40, 5.2% ABV and they're gonna call it uh, Woodford Reserve Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey and will be available luckily internationally. So you might as well grab yourself a bottle because Woodford is one of these distilleries that is really, really, really good with quality. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and if you found this video interesting then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.